here and with a quick chat about labeling your quilts. Obviously, you do not have to label your quilt. This is a bonus um, and definitely not mandatory. Um, but I am a big labeler of labeler of quilts. So I don't think I've made a quilt in the last 10 years that didn't have a label on it. And um, these labels can be really, really simple. I'm going to show you a very specific method for labeling your quilt. Um, but uh, there's lots of different methods. Um, the reason I find labeling a quilt so important is that either your loved ones or whoever ends up with this your quilt that you're making in the future years and years and years from now long after you are gone uh, they're not going to know who made it and it's it might not be that important when it comes to strangers although I still think it's important even when it's a stranger but it might be really important to your granddaughter so I have a lot of my grandmother's and my great grandmother's quilts I don't know who made what I, well, I know a few of them, but the majority of them, I don't know who made what. And um, I would really want to know that information. When did you make this? What pattern did you use to make this? Um, just small details like that can, you know, really add to, you know, the sentimentality of a quilt. Or for me, I feel that way. Um, so, for that reason, I always label quilts. Um, so that hopefully my daughter or my granddaughter or great-granddaughter will know when I made it and, you know, my name, obviously. So anyway, that's what this part is about. Um, we actually have a label, quilt label section in Meander and Make, my fabric shop, um, where we make labels. So I design a label for every single quilt pattern of mine. They look like this. They are really nice and tidy and um so i always put like um the name of the pattern made with love or handmade by and then you plug in your name and the year that you want it to say so they're pre-designed and we just plug in your details um if you are not making one of my patterns and want to label we can still do that too so that option is on the website as well but anyway if you didn't want to go to the trouble of a label, as far as buying a label and waiting for it to arrive, um, the, we make these with six inch squares of fabric just folded over on the diagonal. And what you do is you um, you put this on the corner of your quilt and you, you, know, you stitch this part right here, this fold. And these raw edges get caught up in the binding and it just makes for a very nice and tidy label. So. Obviously, this can say anything you want if you didn't want it to say something like that. But I usually kind of design it to fit with the pattern. So they usually look a little something like that. Anyway, go and find one if you're interested or make your own. Um, if you're making your own, you would use, you know, a fabric marker to write in your details. And, you know, what is the pattern? Uh, when did you make it? What is your name? That kind of stuff. So that's my spill about labels. Let me show you how it gets done. All right, so here's what those um, labels look like. But just because I have my quilt pattern names on them doesn't mean that you couldn't get um, me to make one of these for you uh, with whatever quilt pattern that you are working with, even if it's another designer. I'm always happy to make you a custom label. Um, so don't hesitate to buy any of my labels. They're always the same price. Um, so just buy any label you want, but in the notes, you know, you would just put what you want it to say. And it doesn't have to say trippy quill. You can say whatever you want it to. Um, I think I do actually have a listing for custom labels. Um, so you would pick that custom label and then you would um, just tell me what you want it to say. Uh, this is what they look like. Now, if you didn't want to purchase one of these labels, you can use any type of label that you want. Um, if you would like to make one similar to this, but you know, you want to do it all yourself. Um, these are six inch squares. Um, so they start out as a six inch square and then you fold them in half. And then you can just write with a fabric marker uh, about this quote. You could put just simply made by, you know, Melanie Trailer or whatever you want to say, made by Melanie Trailer in 2022 or made for my daughter, you know, Raven by Melanie Trailer. What, however you want or whatever you want to put on this label, you can and just simply write it with a fabric marker. Um, I like the brand uh, Uchida uh, fabric markers and there's also another brand that I'm blanking on, but I'll definitely put it in the um, 
links up above where it says all the supplies I used. So um, I'll put the name of a couple of other uh, fabric markers in case um, you, you know, want to make it yourself. One thing, do not use a Sharpie because they, um, they, they bleed, they wash off, um, they blur. So it, Sharpies are a bad idea. They're, just make sure that you are using an actual fabric marker. But make it look like this as far as the, the pressing it in half like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pin it on the corner of your quilt. Now, I always pin, it, pin them in the same place. I always put them in the bottom. Um, if, you're, if, you're, if the quilt is if the quilt back is facing you, I always put it in the bottom left corner, but that's totally up to you. But you know, probably the bottom because it's upright in the bottom. And I just kind of make it flush with my quilt and then I pin it. Now, what I like about these labels and the reason I've designed them this way is because once I have it on here, I'm going to I'm going to sew across this edge and this other these other two edges get uh, wrapped up in my binding. So I won't um you know it won't be a raw edge on the quilt and I don't have to use no weird zigzag stitch or anything else. It'll be just a really nice well-made quilt label. So this is how I get started and I'm actually going to um use uh just a basic applique stitch. I don't know if it's called an applique stitch, but I'm just gonna use the same stitch um, that I always use. So you need some scissors, pins. Uh, I like micro quilter because you can't see micro quilter. It's a hundred weight thread. I use it for everything I applique. Look how that disappears almost even in the camera. Um, and it gets this white is just gonna be completely gone. So I always use micro quilter for any applique, but especially for this. And you need a symbol. Um, we have these at Meander and Make as well. And and you need a needle. I got my needle in here. And I'm using a milliner's needle. So I'm just gonna cut me a piece of thread. We don't have far to go. We're going from here to here, so we don't have a lot to sew. So this is a this is a pretty simple sew. And you, of course, could use your machine if you wanted to. You could use a chunkier stitch and let your stitches show. You can do this any way you want to. I'm just showing you what I always do. All right, so let me get my thread loaded up into my needle. I don't worry about a knot. I just slip it in. I don't have it knotted or anything like that. So it's just the thread in the needle. All right, and I'm going to bring this closer in. All right. And so I'm going to, to just put my needle right into the edge of the, of the quilt and the label. And I'm going to pull it through until I've got about a two inch hang. And then I just hold that. I'm going to put it pretty close or right on the exact same place I just did. Pull my needle through. And then when I see that little loop appear, I put my needle through the loop and pull and I'm holding right here so it can't fall out of the the quilt and I'm gonna do that one more time so that I can secure uh, a knot right there so pull it through the loop and boom I'm tied off all right and then I'm just going to put my needle right down into the edge right beside the fold, but I'm not in the fold of the label. I'm going right into the quilt. So right into the quilt. And when I come back up, I'm going to catch my label just like that and then pull it through. And then I'm going to put my needle right behind uh, where the thread is coming out at. I'm going to go into the quilt only, and then I'm going to come out the label. Also, I should say you're not going through all the layers of your quilt. You're just going through the back of your quilt and maybe the batting. Um, so here it is again. I'm going in through my quilt back behind where the thread pops out at. And then when I come back up, I'm catching the edge of my label. And then I just do this all the way to the edge, to the end, all the way to the end of um, the label.
right, so I'm right at the end here, and I wanna tie off the same way that I started. So in the very corner of my label, I'm just going to push my uh, needle through the label and through all layers of the quilt, and then pull it through and give it, you know, a good, nice tug. I'm gonna put it back through that same hole or close to it, and then I'm gonna make the loop, and then as the loop forms, I'm just slipping my needle through it and pulling, and I'm gonna do that knot one more time. There goes my loop, put my needle through it, and pull, all right? And that is how to sew on one of these labels, and then we're ready to go. All right, so there we go. Nice and neat and tidy. And like I said, these edges um, will get uh, closed up in our binding.